Intro. Today, I'm going to be talking about Daniel Larson. If you don't know who Daniel Larson is, it's very important you watch my video, The Never-Ending Story of Daniel Larson, as it will help you understand who he is and what all he has done. To catch up on what's happening now, and to have full context, you also need to watch the other episodes in the series. Those episodes are in a playlist on my channel that's very easy to find. These episodes are weekly recaps, well, somewhat weekly. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. Uh, these are weekly recaps or recaps on what Daniel has been up to. I also do videos on other topics like news and drama that's going on on YouTube. But with all that said, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for the support. And with all that said, enjoy. Daniel kicked out. Daniel gets kicked out of Tropicana. I think that's how you say it. He was just sitting in the, I guess, what would be the lobby area of this place, and he was charging his phone, and he was told to leave because he was sitting around and not a customer. Surprisingly, he doesn't freak out or anything. Are you got an ID? Uh, yes, I do. Are you a hotel guest here? I'm not. I'm just, uh, around the area, and then I'm going to a whole other area. So I'm going to have to ask you, well, tell you. You're not a hotel guest here, you're not downstairs playing the machine, you can't be up there. Okay, because I looked online for phone, like, business, like, areas, phone charging, and it said on Google that this area had a phone charging, that's why I'm here. Yeah, but that's only if you're a hotel guest, or if you're playing on the machine, but you're just sitting up here, charging your phone. Okay. Alright, then I will leave and go somewhere else. Um, that's my idea. Alright, I'm going to call it a day for you, sir. Okay. Yeah, you can grab your thing. Yeah, I will. Um, do you know, uh, is there... Can I go that way and get out, or is it only that way? I'm honestly just waiting for Daniel to call a black guy the n-word. He has said it to other people that aren't black, and he does it because he said before he uses it when he thinks he's in danger. It's like kryptonite or something, I guess he feels. He also got kicked out of Love's truck stop twice. The first time people found it themselves, I'm pretty sure at his TikToks he was showing around the location. He does think he's followed all the time by people and will record trucks that he thinks are after him. So people kind of saw the outside and figured out where he was. The second time he doxed himself and told people to call him, then he gets told while on a live stream to leave. So if you guys want to talk to the world famous Love's Travel Center, apparently now's your time. We'll have a two hour long wait. Daniel? Daniel? Yes. Okay, were you in here last night? I was. Okay, and um, then the cops actually took you out of here, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so but why I'm, are we back over here? I'm waiting for Greyhound. Okay, all right. So here's what I need you to do. You can wait off the premises for Greyhound to show up because you'll be able to see the bus and stuff okay. like that. I can't continue having phone calls, people calling and prank calling and stuff, whatever's going on. I have no earthly idea and stuff, but I need you off the property. Okay, okay, I will do that. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. I get treated like my
Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> this place is still getting harassed. Oh, and I just got a phone call. Um... Okay, I'm... Okay. I just, uh, got a phone call here. It's it's a terrible <laughs> situation. It's a terrible situation. Odd. Okay. From my understanding nowadays with these like apps that like you can get like a number, like a burner number. Yeah. yeah. That's I think what is happening. And then with this place having their location and their phone number on Google Maps. Right. I think they're calling everywhere. And, uh, How would that person know you're here then? So I am like I said, I'm a singer-songwriter, yeah, so I am a notice, somewhat noticeable figure in public. I was spotted by fans yesterday, and uh, my location, because I got spotted by a fan in public, they, whoever this fan was took a picture of me and posted my location to social media. That is how it started. That is how that my location got leaked, and then this guy in this vehicle, who's been doing tracking me for who knows how long, started coming to the location and then started like following me around. So when I went to the Greyhound earlier today at the Greyhound station, from my understanding, this guy followed me to the Greyhound station and then followed the bus all the way here. And then I have two oh, witnesses. So where did you get on the uh, Greyhound at? I got on the Greyhound in Big Spring. Okay. And I'm going to Abilene, and I'm doing it in, like, little chunks. Yeah. To save like money. Yeah. 20 miles from, from Abilene. Right. Um, but that is, okay. like, from my understanding, what is going on. I am trying to get security because of my publicity being where it is. I'm to a point to where I'm going to need to get security. But I am still in that process. I'm telling you, I'm going to lose my mind over these people. And I'm pretty sure that's the same guy. Okay, so, like, two seconds ago, y'all told me that y'all were his stepbrother. And y'all told me y'all weren't his dad. Brother, I won't let go. The troll? Can I help you? Are you getting a shower? You're okay. A troll? Do you want to see what a troll is? Like, internet trolls. Yeah, you sound like one of them right now. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with them, but, like, I didn't say that. I said, like, customer internet. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, so. This is the first number that she, well, the first number I answered, it was this phone number. Okay. Richard Sweet. 330. Hi. Um, and they said right here, it said Richard Sweet on the caller ID, but they said their name was Bob. Okay, that doesn't make sense so, at all. Okay. Um, and then there was an unavailable, like it doesn't have a name on it. Uh, 
That's windy as hell out there. Okay. And then, <laughs> probably not. 806. Okay, here's the officer. So these are the people that are calling? These are the numbers that you yes. called. Okay. It's all the same person, I think. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like the same person. Hi. What's going on? So, um, I am traveling through town okay. on a vacation, okay. on a business trip. So, I'm on a business trip coming through town, and I was coming through on Greyhound. Okay. I'm staying the night here, and I'm leaving in the morning. Okay. There's a guy um, that has been following me around, following the Greyhound around at every stop for the past month now in a whitish vehicle that is I want to say like a Ford F250 F500 it's like a pretty big large uh, truck okay he's been calling places everywhere I go claiming that he is a family member the family member that he's claiming to be is not and He's also been claiming that he's all also a possible hitman. And he's been calling, like I said, these locations following me around. And I've been in like 15, 20 different cities, and I've had to call the police in every single city. Okay. Um, and I do actually have some evidence of the possible vehicle that has been following me around. But I can't get a license. All I know is these are the multiple. But then these are the numbers that are calling, and we think that it's the exact same person. Saying to call the cops on him, saying. A cop even shows up the first time but does nothing. If he looked up his name, they'd see he has warrants because he does have a few warrants in a few different states and has missed a few court dates. It's truly sad we didn't get to see him arrested. Daniel Tuscan, Arizona, and El Paso, Texas arc. I'm going to be talking about both of these in the same place because there's not much that happens. There are a few events I'll be talking about, but to just kind of go over, he was at these two places. There was like a whole Daniel's World Tour going on where Daniel went from one place to another really quickly in the span of like a week or two. He went everywhere by bus. Nothing really happened besides people weirdly supporting Daniel and showing support in Arizona, which was absolutely disgusting, sad, and pathetic. I don't know why he went to either of these states. I don't think he really said why. Probably went to them because he got banned from everywhere in Las Vegas. Daniel does this thing where he does a bunch of stuff in one place, then when the law is about to be after him, he'll leave the state. He did this in Las Vegas and then also did this in LA and even Denver. He was in Texas for a while and apparently got stuck in a small town. But he later got on a bus and left there. People supporting Daniel. To go on from what I was talking about before in the last section, there was a lot of people in Arizona showing their support to Daniel. And it's honestly really disgusting. Multiple people making TikToks, giving him things like food and hygiene products. All of you who are doing this are disgusting, by the way. If you know of Daniel so well, you would know at least some of the things that he's done. These people are openly supporting a pedo. And another thing is, is that this only inflates his ego and his delusions, thinking that he's a celebrity. Sadly, no one did the right thing. But to end this section off, I've been showing the faces of everyone who openly supported him while talking about this situation because there's people taking pictures and stuff. Man, this is crazy. Everybody knows me. <laughs> I can't even imagine being you, man. You're, no, literally. you're yeah, literally you're a celebrity, my guy. Where are all the little... Are this this right is here. definitely ain't the right aisle. No, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see. <sighs> Soup. Soup. Yep. 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 What else do you need? Do you need lotion? Brush. Like, whatever. You need a brush. Uh, what is this? That's a brush this and a... A brush. Oh, that is a toothbrush. Yep. Okay. And then, um, do we want like shampoo, anything? Uh, let's get you, let's get you some good order. Um, hey, this is the one I use. Let's see. Uh, two for, yeah. 
smell good? You can't really smell it that well, but... Yeah, yeah, you can. It's good. It's Old Spice. Old Spice is yummy. Oh, yeah, that, that's, oh, that that's good. Oh, that one's good. That's manly. Um, Man, you might be... do you need snacks? Do you... Daniel doesn't even care about hygiene stuff, and you can tell the whole time in this video that he just does not care. Also, he's just gonna throw it away. This is niche as and I don't think anyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. I don't think anyone's gonna know anything about what I'm talking about. But if but if anybody, if this comes on your For You page and you know who Daniel Larson is, can you please tell me if he's dead or alive? Please, because I'm like genuinely concerned because I saw a TikTok that says he got stabbed in the jugular and is dead. And I'm like actually concerned. So please just, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know who Daniel Larson is, please tell me if he's dead or alive. Please. No. What's up, TikTok? <laughs> Congrats to everyone who supported him. The scabies will settle in as well as whatever else he could have. Daniel's bench warrant. Daniel has another warrant now, and this time it's in Anaheim, California. I'm not completely sure what it's for, and I don't know how much I can show on the video, so I'm just going to basically tell you what it says. It says that it's a misdemeanor, the bail is $500, and charge one is defraud merchant. And just from looking up on Google, it says this merchant fraud occurs when a fraudster opposes as a merchant in order to process transactions and steal the funds. But I don't know anything specifically that got him this, but it is another warrant. It's actually quite impressive that Daniel has so many warrants and missed court dates. Daniel off his meds. Daniel tells us that he's going to go off of his Latuda, which if you don't know is one of his schizophrenia medications. I had to take myself off of the Latuda again because it was making my speech blurred and it was making me more confused to where I couldn't think. To be honest, I don't think he takes his meds anyway, so there probably won't be a difference, just the usual mental decline. Apparently, Daniel hasn't even took it long enough for it to work, as I looked it up and it said it takes six weeks or so of actually using it, if you're using it right. And we all know that Daniel probably isn't using it right. We've seen him on his meds before and how calm he can be and just, you know, not chaotic. It also makes me wonder if Daniel starts feeling the meds working and then he thinks they are doing something bad so he stops taking them. Possibly him not liking the feeling of him being sane or thinks that when the medicines are working he should stop taking them because they're not working. I, I don't really know. And also if he does hear voices like how he said before, they probably convince him not to take the medicines. Daniel being creepy. Daniel uploaded a TikTok recording a disabled girl. This is outrageous and honestly really sad and creepy. Daniel has a history of recording people like this. It's mainly just him trying to record girls from behind and just record girls in general. People like him are the reason why phones in Japan have a shutter sound when you take a picture. He also in a TikTok asked about a camp with underage girls in it on TikTok. And really recently, he was recording and uploaded a bunch of little girls in a coffee shop. In the video, it's just him like showing all the girls and stuff, not saying a word. And some of them are not, some of them are side views and some of them are from behind. I'm not going to show these videos of the girls and the disabled girl, obviously, but it has happened time and time again. What camp with girls or something like that? Underage girls? are the media talking about about me like i'm so confused on someone also found out that daniel was following a stroller account on tiktok we all know why he follows this and it's pretty disgusting he also started following a bunch of sex tip accounts on tiktok which i kind of just thought was weird but also funny daniel has had a history of following accounts of underage girls and stuff that has to do with underage girls and a stroller account is outrageous Daniel getting trolled. 
Daniel ends up getting trolled by some people who get his number. He was on live stream and ends up saying a bunch of stuff and talking about the people that are sending him messages. You better start running, I have a gun. Yeah, I have a total of two people messaging me right now. I'm going to buy you dinner, but I have a gun. I'm, I have a gun, I'm following you, I'm going to buy you dinner. Something ain't right. I'm going to you? What the? There's a new 720 number messaging me. 720, which is a Colorado number. Stating right now, like, texting me. So somebody got my number, and it is saying I'm going to f*** you up. And they have a picture of me that they just sent. So the person just texted me a picture. It's a picture of me. Um, literally a block away. From where I am right now. Um, he ends up getting banned after the live stream. I'm guessing he got banned due to saying stuff about a gun and R wording people out loud. TikTok is a little odd when it comes to words you can and can't say on live. And from what I've heard from content creators on TikTok, it's you have to be really careful with what you say. Like, you can't really say that R word. It's also really easy to get banned from going live, as a lot of people will randomly get banned from going live. Daniel and Bob Daniel talks about Bob in a TikTok live, saying that Bob doesn't want to be in contact with him anymore. My mentor, Bob. My best friend. Probably the most supportive person I've had in my life. For the past close to 15 years. Just told me yesterday that he can no longer be affiliated with my career or my life. And Bob has asked me to not call him or talk to him again. He has said this a lot though, and Daniel will probably continue to talk to Bob even if Bob is out of his life. I'm truly curious if Bob actually still talks to him. And from what I've heard, Daniel bothers people a lot just throughout the day. like people he's in contact with. Last time we talked about Bob, from what I remember, basically he couldn't even call him anymore, like the number was blocked or changed. So, who really knows? Daniel locked out of his bank account. Daniel supposedly was locked out of his bank account. I don't know how true this is, but if it's true, that's pretty good news. I'm surprised he was in it for so long, as he changes TikTok and YouTube accounts so often, even though they aren't banned. Maybe Daniel didn't have to put the password in every time to get into the bank app. I don't really know, but it's actually really shocked me for how long he's had the same bank account. But that also leaves the question, how is he paying for stuff? This could have just been a lie and probably is, but if it isn't, it's good news. Hello everyone. So I have a update on my bank account. I fully got kicked out of my bank account, so all I can use is my debit card. I, when I call the bank or when I try to put money into my bank account, like if I get cash and I try to put it into my bank account, like at a random bank, I cannot do that because I have to go in person to the Colorado branch to be able to get my routing number. They cannot verify me for some reason at the bank. So unless I get my music sales, I cannot 
like actually get money into my bank account unless it's like to cash app as well. One thing I'm really confused about is how basically he keeps a cash app card and a PayPal card because he has like multiple cards for different accounts and stuff. But if Daniel has changed cash apps so many times, I don't think he could really use the same card. I don't know. If someone could actually explain that in the comments down below, I'd really appreciate it. Daniel Larson, Tent Arc Daniel had a tent for a while while he was in Arizona, and from what we've seen, he's used it just once. I'm not sure where. It would have been funny if someone went to the tent and trolled him. He was carrying it around where all he goes, and had this to say about it. Okay, so now that I'm carrying around a tent with me everywhere I go, um, it's giving me, places are giving me a hard time, and people are staring at me with ugly looks. I don't know what he expected, he could have just left it outside, but no, he no think too well. There's been a picture of him going around near the University of Arizona, which is odd because why is he near a bunch of university girls, but to go on, he would be carrying the tent. He also made fun of a homeless person in a TikTok, which is ironic as he is homeless and the person he recorded has more possessions than him. Okay. Well, I better be glad I'm not this guy. To go back to the topic of the tent, I wonder if the police can just take them down. I'm not sure if they can for sure. I tried looking it up and I didn't really find anything besides a link to Quora. And I don't want to go back there again. Daniel ends up saying that he sold the tent for $100, but in my interview with Daniel, he says it's somewhere and he wouldn't say where, and honestly, I forgot he said that he sold it whenever I was interviewing him, and I didn't get to ask him about that. And that's really unfortunate, and I do feel bad for that, and I will apologize for that, because I would have actually asked, like, oh, you said you sold it, though, you know. Uh, but now I can't bring it up. I personally think that somehow he got it set up or he just used someone else's tent and didn't know how to take it down properly and ended up giving up or just leaving the tent there without even trying to take it down. Daniel Larson Mental Episode Daniel was very paranoid in Texas at one point, thinking a truck was following him around. At that time, he was posting black screens with text saying, Why do you want me arrested? I will negotiate with you, and stuff like that. Here's a screenshot of the supposed gun threat that he got, and it looks like a picture you get off of Google, and it's just like a text message back and forth, but it looks like a picture of a gun that you just get off Google. Daniel has no money, and I don't know why he said he would try to negotiate with them if it was real. I think that was probably just a troll, and wasn't actually really near him. He did have a thing where he was really paranoid about a truck. To go back to the mental episode, he was running away from places and was really afraid. For police to be notified of my location. And there's a car across the street. There's a white car. Holy living fuck. The white car is the white car is actually back. Okay. Yeah, the white, the white car. No, the white car is actually back. Where? Right there. That's nobody, sir. 
We're about to close the store down. So if the cops are not here, you're gonna have to leave the store. Okay. So you have to leave the store. If the cops are not coming, you have to leave the store, sir. Okay, I. Uh, okay. I do nothing to you, sir. All right. It's so funny to me to watch him as he freaks out over cars just being near him. He had cops come up to him at one point, and they are acting like his fans. I feel like they were just saying that to calm him down. He has been so close to police and hasn't gotten arrested yet, it's so bizarre. To go back to the truck, Daniel in my interview with him said that there was a white truck following him, and when he'd get close, they'd just yell at him to leave Grace alone. There's no proof of the person yelling at him and him getting even close to the truck. I tried to get him to actually go do that, but he just never did. And this white truck only followed him around or quote quote followed him around in Texas. There's no proof of Daniel even going up to the truck or the person in the truck yelling at him, which you'd think he'd record for quote evidence because he records everything. Speaking of, it's funny Daniel talks about evidence about the trolls. Like every time the trolls get him kicked out of somewhere, he's like, oh, screenshot this for evidence. But he doesn't think about all the eight plus hours of evidence in this series of him doing awful things. The March 30th Incident On March 30th, Daniel gets kicked out of multiple places and yells at cops on the street. To be honest, this day was crazy, as someone called a bomb threat at the truck stop he was at and gave the description of Daniel as the bomber. Okay, so at my current location right now, they have evacuated all, it looks like all regular people, all that's left inside is employees, and everywhere I go is getting spam called, and uh, somebody called in a bomb threat. Um, I don't know who it is. They gave me as the description. Um, and I do know that the person that keeps calling these places is a troll. And the guy's goal is to try to call every single location I'm at and get me kicked out. That's this guy's plan. Um, that's all I know. Um, but... Everything continues to escalate. Um, they're calling the police, and I don't know what's going to happen. I am trying to file a lawsuit, but that's all that I know right now. Okay, I'm not going to play that game. But hold on. No, that guy just that guy tried to hit me. Okay, that guy just tried to hit me. Okay, this is not good. They, somebody called in a bomb threat to the, to the location that I'm at because of my fan base. Some troll literally just called in a bomb threat. They evacuated the entire place. Somebody is about to get arrested. And it's looking very, very bad right now. It's making me look bad. Although from the Discord interview, I don't think I have it in there, but someone said they just called and told them that Daniel has done bomb threats before, which is true. He has done bomb threats before. Daniel also goes on to try to talk to police at one point and they don't feel like dealing with him, so he just yells at them and flips them off. He also is yelling on the street again at one point, but we're not really sure at who. I told you that I was getting doxxed! He also dined and dashed again from what I've seen. People were calling the place that he was at to inform them. And he thinks people are watching him. He makes a few TikToks and on live stream is looking around for people, seeing that people are outside the building he's at and they're after him. I did see some people posting pictures and videos of Daniel on the street that same day. Some of these videos were him near the police, but overall the likeliness of people watching this closely, of like how he's saying, like following him and all that is rare. Daniel doxes himself quite easily, so people just call there anyway. As well, he was bothering a truck stop, arguing with the workers, and ends up getting kicked out and then trespasses. Already deleted it when I came in here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave. You guys can call the police. 
because I, when I came in here on the bus, when I came in here, I was going to do the bus transfer. Okay, man, so then man, I'm man, leaving here at twelve. Man, leave, man. I'm not going to leave because I'm I'm going to be leaving on the bus. Sir, you have to leave. You don't have a ticket, sir. Okay, call the police. You I'm not playing call games. This morning. You called it off this morning on yourself. I did not. No, I didn't. Yes, did, I sir. called the police because somebody was threatening to kill me. So I had to protect myself. But I said that I was going to go get the bus ticket and I was going to leave here at 12. Sir, Give me a morning, break. Sir. I know you're recording, so it doesn't matter. All right. I've already explained to you guys that I am leaving on the next bus out of here to New Orleans. But I deleted the ticket from earlier, the bus that I came in on, because I'm already here. So I deleted that from the app. That's why I don't have the bus ticket. I came from San Antonio. And then I came in here and I'm doing a flipping transfer. I came in here at 3 a.m. from San Antonio. And then I'm leaving here at noon on the next bus to New Orleans. Yes, from, from this address. Okay, so tell me the address you're leaving from. Uh, from right from Main Street. This is Main Street. Correct. And I'm leaving from Main Street. Tell me that physical address. Don't just tell me the physical It's the Greyhound. I mean, it's not. This is the only Greyhound. No, I'm not I'm not gonna argue. Okay, what's up? Just listen all This is the only Main Street in town. It's not leaving yet. It's leaving at at three. Okay, so it leaves it leaves here at twelve, and it gets to New Orleans at three. But I'm not playing these games. No, I'm not. I've already explained to you. I'm buying a ticket. It's not. It's. It, it's like I'm buying a ticket. I'm using your service, so it's not like I'm not gonna pay. I'm also gonna add in another part here where Daniel basically was going into a restaurant. This was after he said earlier in another clip. He's like, "Oh, that guy tried to hit me." I'm pretty sure he went into that same restaurant, and this is kind of just like a follow-up of that situation, because he goes in there, he thinks people are following him and stuff. But here is all the clips of that. Favor and write down. Can you do me a favor and write down what the guy is saying on the phone? Or okay, I I'm just gonna need like something for evidence when I file the report. There is a guy outside. The same guy, I think, that was causing issues at 3 a.m. last night. There's multiple people. Okay. 
Do you want to go on the other side? Uh, sure. Any way that I can get, like, out of view of windows would be ideal. Thank you. I'm going to wait here for my safety. All right? Thank you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get hit by people. All right? So I'm going to wait here for my safety. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Thank you. Charge your phone, okay? Um, he went back that way. That way? Yes. Thank you. I... Yeah, there's multiple people in the area that are trying to cause issues. I'm gonna film as much evidence right now as possible. I don't know if that was a homeless guy or what, but like literally somebody tried to lunge at me. It looked like they had a shank. Would you feel a little bit more comfortable if I skin guard of the, uh, the door? Uh, yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, this ain't good. I'm gonna need to find a way to get security. They have everybody outside now. Okay, at least that's good. They got security outside for the area. Okay. Uh, Daniel. Daniel, how you doing? I'm Officer Blandon. Hi, nice what's, to meet what's you. What's going on today? So, I'm a upcoming singer-songwriter. Okay, okay. And I recently gained popularity to where I'm getting noticed in public. Okay. Like, I, I'm also on social media, so I have a fairly large social media presence. Okay. And uh, for the past couple months, okay. there's been a guy that I don't know how he's doing it. It's not me. But calls every single business that I'm going into, it's one person that I can tell, calls every single business I go into and then tries to get me banned from every location I go to okay. and gives threats. Like, and then gives the description of what I'm reading. You got the same issue again? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm aware of that. Um, I am going to uh, need the police to show up, and then I'm going to need to file a report. I'm going to need to file a report if the fans, if my, like, trolls of my fan base are giving this place threats. Okay, thank you.
The police are currently back on their way. I'm going to report those two officers, and then I am going to also let them know what's going on, and that I'm fully doxxed from every single location that I try to go to, and I'm out of resources because of doxing. Being told that I can't go anywhere and to leave. I can't just do that. It's not that simple. Not to go back to the Greyhound either. That's a bunch of... Oh, great. There's that guy again. Mr. Doxeroni. Police saying that I... This was a crazy day, and people were saying he possibly got arrested. A Daniel Larson Manifesto Someone posted on Reddit a full manifesto of sorts talking about taking out Daniel Larson. The person's name on Reddit was u slash dense underscore safe underscore 4697. It was a text post on the Daniel Larson Reddit with the title, This is not a joke. In the Reddit post, he says, Hello, I'm a 27-year-old Daniel Larson follower. I've spent six years in the military and have enough experience to complete my mission. I plan to blank Daniel Larson. This is not a joke. I have finished my manifesto in which I have gathered all my thoughts and wishes. I have his location, his phone number, as well as his addresses and past management. Report me if you want. Call the police if you want. I do not care. Daniel Larson blanks soon. It's been a while since this has been posted, and nothing has really happened to Daniel, and nothing really close has happened. I can't remember exactly what state Daniel was in at the time of this being posted, as the post has been taken down. Daniel is still alive, so this is either a troll, or a person that just didn't or hasn't yet gone through with it. For the audience, do you think the manifesto is real, and will we see this guy again? If you are the person who wrote it, message me on Reddit or on Discord. I would definitely like to have a conversation with you. Maybe the person made the manifesto because Daniel was in the same state as them and he thought he could actually do it and maybe that's why he hasn't done it yet is because Daniel has now moved since then. It could have been, from what I guess, it was probably during the time where he was in Texas because I think during the interview that just happened not too long before. Daniel Larson, New York 5. Daniel Larson's main goal was to get to New York to meet Grace. Apparently, she doesn't even live there anymore, but when Daniel got to New York, he says that Grace told him that they are on vacation and he will have to go to another state to see them. I can't remember what state specifically, but while he's in New York, he ends up getting into a fight. Some people were following him around in a store and were messing with him, and when he gets kicked out of the store, he goes and tries to swing on someone. I think it's the person that actually kicked him out. This all was recorded from a Discord call. I'm not exactly sure if this was a certain Discord server or some call that some people got him in. Dude, I was just in there and I bought something, so he might like tweak out. Yeah, so it should be good. Alright, bye. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. 
Daniel. I've asked you to leave. Daniel. I've asked you to leave. We're on the phone with the police. Daniel. I've asked you to Come leave. Come on, Daniel. You know me. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. We're friends. No, I don't. I'm on the phone with my security. Are you smoking crack or tweak? No, I'm not. That's stop. Stop walking. Come on, Jake. Daniel. I have my face, uh, the restaurant. Are you smoking crackers? You, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. If you do not leave, I'm calling the police. Truly is. Do you know how to defend yourself? Yeah, I do, but I, uh, I've already punched the security guard. You already punched yeah. him? Yeah, I did. Because he put hands on me, and I told him that I'm a celebrity, and you're clearly putting me in danger by doing this. You guys should, you know, like at least, you know, like understand that, like I don't know these people. I'm trying to call the police. And you guys are not listening. You guys are like clearly, you know, like causing a bigger situation. All right. So could you turn on your camera? At that point, I had, I had to, I had to self defend myself. Yeah, Daniel, are you? Are you can you turn your camera on so I know you're safe? Yeah. Okay. okay thank thank you. you. But um, show us your I'm face. Show us your face. Those five. Those five teenager whatever. Guys, yeah. Those trolls. They, they're. Their goal, their plan, from what I can see, is they want me to get out of here. Yeah. This is private. This is private. Police need to walk out right now. Yes. The, right now. the police are on their way. When you wait for the police last time. Let's go. I'm not going to do that. Because the police told me to wait here. Oh. I have you on get film. Out. I have get you out. on film. Get out. 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 Please tell me somebody's recording this. I know it. Daniel, what's happening? I have you on film. I have you on film. The police told me to wait in there. Daniel, defend yourself. Daniel, get back at him. Defend yourself, Daniel. Police! Wait. They told me to wait in there! Wait this is the oh, he muted. Daniel! Are you guys getting this on film? Yes. Yeah, we are, Daniel. Hey. No! No! Because you hit me! You hit me in there! Let me know. Let me know. You had me in there. So of course I'm going to self-defend myself. Okay. 
you? The police told me to wait in there. Spit on him, Daniel. All right. We're gonna get arrested. Hey, hey, hey. I have you on film. You're not. Oh my god, Daniel. Daniel, did you spit on him? Oh my god. Daniel? Daniel, you there? He's Daniel. He spit on him. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Did he spit on the? He's still in the call though. What? What? Did his phone die? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Daniel, are you there? I saw his camera. I'm injured. You're injured. I'm injured. Show us what is happening. The guy tackled me to the ground. Did you spit on him? I had to hit him for protection. Oh my god. Wait, show us. What happened? Did you run away? Put your camera on. We have to record My knee this. is bleeding. Oh my god. Daniel, put your camera on. <laughs> Daniel. Oh, he's still there? Daniel, you need to run. Daniel, you need to run. Why is this, Daniel? Your phone's like m muffled. <laughs> he got he body slammed him because he spit on the guy. Oh my god. Injured. All right. That wasn't me. That was Olivia. <laughs> Daniel, what just happened? I told I. So Daniel, I told, leave. So Daniel, leave. The, yes. Leave. No, because the five, the five teenagers that were sending death threats on social media and at the restaurant, they came into my location. Daniel, you need okay. to leave right now because you just you just attacked him. No, because I'm pressing charges on them. Okay. I'm pressing charges for assault. I'm pressing charges for assault. Daniel, you need you need to leave. No, I got a black eye, so I'm waiting for. Show us your face. <laughs> Where did you get hit? I'm going to have a black eye. I can't tell. But those those five people. Show us your face again. Those, Show me your face. Daniel, why did you instigate a fight with him? Those five people came into the location. Okay. So I called the police. Daniel, you're gonna you're gonna get arrested. I don't care. All right, I care more about my safety and the fact that this guy grabbed me and assaulted me. That's a crime. All right. But but Dan Daniel, you need to leave because you're you're having fans that are stalking you. I don't care. I don't care. All right. I don't care. Oh my God, Daniel! I have. I'm the one with evidence. This guy doesn't. I have but, everything on film. But da but Daniel, you thing. didn't. But you didn't leave the store when you told him to, and then you attacked him. I know. I know you didn't spit on him, but you because, just because the police are the the police are the ones that told me to wait in the inside the inside the location. So that's what I was doing. So the police are the ones that told I, me. To but but if a, but if a, you know once you leave, Daniel. Hold on, I'm calling 911. Daniel. 
Daniel, if you need to leave, Grace wants you to leave. He's gone. Oh my. He's literally going to get in trouble. Basically, basically, like a bunch of people were like stalking. I mean, it's like 1% of it's our fault, I'm going to be honest. But like a bunch of like fans were like stalking him and like harassing him out of his store. And then a security guard got him kicked out of the store. He got into a physical fight. So, um, this is what I look like after I got uh, assaulted by two fans in New York City in 2023. Fortunately, I don't have any fractures that I know of. I did have a fairly good sized cut on my uh, nose. But that's about it. Uh, no. Thank you. I look terrible. I look like, uh, the Grinch on a bad day. <laughs> this is terrible. So shout out to Daniel Larson Creator, as he is the one that actually provided that footage. I wish that he had the footage of the cop uh, screaming at that guy because uh, and flipping him off. Because I said I talked about it before of him fighting off or fighting some cops or like arguing with them and yelling at them, and I didn't have any footage. And the main reason for the, not having that footage was is that I, I tried to go find it again and it was deleted. So. Yeah, sadly he doesn't have that, but he did have this, and shout to him, he'll be in the description below. But to go on, Daniel disappears for a little bit after this fight, and comes back with a mark on his nose, and in the hospital. I'm not going to show the mark on his nose, but recently Daniel has been non-stop picking at it, and it seems to only be getting worse. With it being on his face, he'll probably continuously non-stop pick at it. At one point, it looked like a really bad scab, but since he's picked at it, opening it up again. Daniel's threats. Daniel has made a lot of threats in his time, but this was kind of bizarre. Daniel goes on to tell people to dox the Reddit mods on TikTok in multiple videos. Everyone, dox the Reddit mods. Dox the Reddit mods now. Reddit. Everybody, dox the Reddit mods. Dox the Reddit mods. They're coming. They're coming. Dox the Reddit mods. I will soon rise to the top. He does this in multiple TikToks, causing his TikTok to get taken down. Probably got banned because of that and a mix of the mark on his nose as he's been picking at it and it just looks really... Daniel just has a big hatred for the Reddit as the Reddit won't let anything slide and exposes him all the time. Doxing is somewhat illegal, or at least somewhat illegal, so this can be another crime that Daniel has committed. Daniel Dine and Dashed. Daniel recorded himself getting kicked out of some place because he didn't have the money to pay. Also, Daniel does this weird thing where he has to constantly ask questions or try to get the last word or he won't leave. But here's the video of him getting kicked out. <laughs> Do you know it's like okay? Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can come back here. Okay, come back here. We'll have you arrested. Okay. Okay. All right. You understand? You understand yeah, that? I understand. And you're not allowed on the property here at all anymore either. Okay, anywhere in Brookfield Place, if you come back, you're gonna get arrested for trespassing. Okay. Do you? Like, can I ask like the reason? Because you have no money, you didn't pay your bill, okay? okay? It's a theft of service, it's a crime. Once you commit a crime on our property, you're not allowed anywhere on our property. Okay. Okay? All right. So you understand? Yes. Okay. So Brookfield Place is this whole complex, you're not allowed in here anymore, you understand? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. If I can ask you to please exit out down towards that way. Okay. All right, thank you.
All right, so, okay, so apparently the, somebody, like I said, spotted me at the subreddit, or from, from somebody from the subreddit spotted me. They posted my location, a picture of me from across the um, restaurant, leaked my location, and then uh, started, like, I guess, calling in some type of threats. Um, I wasn't able to get the guy, the manager, saying that on film, but they asked me, like they said, to fully leave and that I'm not able to come back. Um, I was able to pay, but I was getting the money transferred through Cash App um, from somebody else to my regular um, debit card. So I did have the money. It was being transferred. The restaurant didn't want to wait. They didn't want to wait like literally two minutes for that to be transferred. Um, so it's literally like false information. I was going to pay. Um, I had somebody in the process of doing so, but the restaurant didn't want to be patient for two minutes. That's it's that simple. So um, that's what is going on. Also, guys, it's not OK to be doxing my location. Um, I will be pressing charges if I find who did that. I will be calling the restaurant later. I feel like it's bizarre that people are so nice to him, as I feel like anyone else would get really bad treatment. Like, if I went into a restaurant and just didn't pay, I'd probably be in handcuffs five minutes later. Daniel Larson Interview if you haven't watched it already, I interviewed Daniel Larson thanks to some people who made a Discord server. Make sure to go check it out. There's also some things that aren't fully explained in the video, I think, and I want to go over those. One, Daniel was at a bus stop trying to get on a certain bus, so he was already busy, but can't multitask. Near the end, Daniel was also starting to basically be overstimulated, and everyone was already tired and ready to get off for the night, as we were all on there for a while. I got to ask him some questions but couldn't ask him hard ones due to Daniel's retreat method when someone exposes him because he would just end up leaving if I said too much or get me kicked out or banned from the Discord server. The Discord server is now shut down. People are asking what the Discord server was. Also, I don't know what Daniel's Discord at is. I tried to friend request him multiple times, but none of my attempts worked for whatever reason. And also, Daniel changes accounts all the time, so there'll probably be a new one at some point. But yes, the Discord server got shut down. It got shut down a couple days after the interview. The interview was on the 1st, and I think it lasted till the 4th. I actually thought it was going to do pretty well, but from what I heard, people were getting doxxed. Kind of just like what happens to all the other ones. Also, the next game I'm going to play is going to be a surprise for everyone. I think I said in a video before that I was going to let you all choose, but I do have another series that I want to play. I just now finished Saints Row 4. Next, I'll be going to Saints Row Get Out of Hell, and then I'll be playing something completely different, which will be the surprise series. Thank you for the support on the interview so far. But if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. It's on the playlist, and it's the most recent Daniel Larson video titled The Daniel Larson Interview. End. Thank you all for being patient. Also, nothing has really happened till just recently. The next episode was going to be honestly really dry if it wasn't for this huge delay. Thank you all for watching, and if you don't know, at the end of my videos, I like to leave funny stuff I found on the Reddit at the end so we can have a good laugh. And it's also a thank you from me for watching all the way through as I just kind of leave it in as a secret and don't say, oh, funny or anything. Before we get into the funnies, let's get into the cringe. I found some cringe stuff and I couldn't find a place for it, so here's the cringe first. Oh my god. With all this cookie dough, it's so messy. I literally look like I did something naughty. <laughs> so gotta sit back, relax, get some sleep while you can. Got everything you need all right here. The psychiatric doctor at Sunrise Medical Center in 2023, in March, also thought that I might have fatal alcohol syndrome from my mother. She might have drunk alcohol. Do a dance! Do a dance! Do a dance! Hey! Hey! Yeah, I'm the monkey, I'm the sphinx, yeah, 
it stinks when I'm standing up here next to the Sphinx. But yeah, I am the king. You know my name. It's Daniel Carson. Yeah. I'm in Carson. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, This is what happens when the world spins. Woo hee hee hee. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I am sorry, Dave, for looking up CP and looking up kids wetting the bed. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, Dave. Please forgive me. I repent doing all that. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I repent. Please give me a chance. Now, with all that over, enjoy the funnies I lay at your feet. Sauce Baby posted, point of view, Dan approaches you in Arizona. Bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really funny and really clever. Big Bones Milk posted, If you meet up with Daniel Larson, bring permanent paint and convince him to paint his face to make a funny TikTok. And then someone commented saying, Blackface arc. I was just thinking that. Or said, his least racist arc. That's actually really funny. Smexy posts, On no meme s, why does he seriously look like a white version of George Floyd here? Or is it just me? I could kind of see it. I'm not gonna lie. Do y'all think he looks like a white George Floyd in this picture? You slash base face will too posts the counselor at the psych ward trying to convince Daniel he's not an actual up and coming singer songwriter who's dating Grace Vanderwall. Damn it! Why can't you remember? Reznov's dead, Mason. Did you hear me? He's dead. That's pretty clever. I love how clever y'all are. And just all the memes that y'all post on here. I really do appreciate it. These are super funny. Post by a deleted account says, Let's who don't. And it's a meme of two pictures of Daniel. One, whenever he was more sane, it says, Let's who da. The schizophrenia medication you're supposed to take. And then, Let's who don't, which is a picture from a breakdown he had. I can't remember what the website's called at the moment. Maddie English Cash posts, Saw Daniel in NYC earlier today. And that was really good. That's one of Daniel Larson's ancestors. It doesn't show the person that posted this one either, but it says, God, I wish I was in El Paso so I can find Daniel and sneak up on his tent, start shaking it, and blast scary noises out on a speaker. That would be so funny. That would have been such a legendary thing in the community as well. Someone commented on this and said touching his tent would give you scabies. This one also doesn't show who it is because it says you slash deleted. Uh... But anyway, it says the peeing feeling, June 15th. And say, like, movie poster of Daniel. And the poster says, from the direction of finding Vanderwall. Final mycologist, 870 posts, 1,000 yard stare. Daniel really does have a 1,000 yard stare type of feel in this picture, and just in general. Like, some of the pictures, like, he looks like he's gone through so much. Mince, 53, 12 posts. What Daniel hears when he gets caught trespassing or dining and dashing. Get ready to lose some pounds. Get ready to get shot and thrown in a ditch. Get ready to get dipped in acid baths. But first, you're going to get raped. <laughs> I love Alex Jones. I keep seeing all these like out of pocket or just like random no context clips. And the last post for the video is from Buns underscore lover. And it says, Daniel's face when people in Houston don't put up with his schizo I'm being followed BS. If you saw this man come up to you and say, I'm being followed. Like, would you really trust it? No, he looks insane. I didn't realize that he looks that crazy, especially with Android quality.
But that's all I have for now. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. It does really mean a lot. If you haven't already, check out the interview. Make sure to go check out my other videos as well. As I do more than just Daniel content, I talk about internet drama and such. And I do have some other projects in the making and some other stuff I'm going to be talking about soon. And I think that my next video is going to be something that y'all are genuinely interested in. As I think it kind of is around this community's field. More videos soon. Daniel hasn't really even been up to much recently, so I don't know when the next recap is going to be, but if Daniel isn't really doing anything, then there's not much I can talk about, and I don't really want to have a dry episode for y'all. But, in the end, I'm Park 30, and... In conclusion, is the perfect example of what Zero Pussy does to a motherfucker.